Hello friends, so here we are again with another question on Telogen's theorem. So here we have this uh, circuit and we have to uh, verify whether Telogen's theorem is you know, uh, satisfied in this circuit. So again like we do in uh, all the problems associated with Telogen's theorem, we have to first determine the branch currents. So we'll be using again nodal analysis as it is easy to apply in case of uh, circuits where we have to determine currents directly. So here we'll redraw the circuit. Twelve volt, two ohm, six ohm. Let the voltage here, the node voltage be V. So now we have to apply KCL here. So for that, we'll assign currents and their directions. Let's say this is I one, and let's say this is I two. In the arrowhead. You know, representing the direction. So if we apply KCL here at node V, 6 ampere and I2 are approaching towards the node, I1 flowing away from the node. So I1 is equal to I2 plus 6. That is the KCL equation. Now we'll write it in terms of the voltage, the node voltage and resistance. So I1 is simply V by 6, V by 6, V node voltage minus ground potential which is 0 divided by resistance in between which is 6 ohm. I2 is 12 minus V by 2, 12 minus V by 2 and this is 6. So that implies V by 6 plus V by 2 is equal to 6 plus 6. Okay. So what we have done is 12 minus V by 2 is equal to 12 by 2 minus V by 2. V by 2 went to this side and became plus V by 2 and this is 6. Okay. So here it is 6V plus 3V is equal to 12. That implies 4V is equal to 72. That implies V is equal to 72 by 4 which is 18. 18 volt. So the node voltage is 18 volt. <coughs> So now we have determined this node voltage. Now we have to determine the currents I1 and I2. So here I1 is equal to V by 6 which is equal to 18 by 6 which is equal to 3 ampere. Okay. So I1 we have calculated. I1 is equal to 3 ampere. Then I2, 12 minus V by 2. I2 is 12 minus V by 2 is equal to 12 minus 18 by 2. This is interesting, okay, minus 6 by 2 which is equal to minus 3 ampere. So here the thing is that the minus sign it means that I2 here is actually flowing in the opposite direction. Here we have assumed that I2 is flowing in this direction but actually the actual direction is this 
magnitude is same there is no problem with that but the actual direction of i2 is this this is the assumed which is wrong because of this negative sign so magnitude is right so we will simply change the direction of the current from this to this 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 is the current uh, correct direction this so now we have determined the currents now we'll find out the power supplied and absorbed by the various circuit elements so first the 6 ampere current source 6 ampere current source now see the node voltage here is V so what it means is that the voltage across this 6 ampere current source is also V V we calculated as 18 volt okay V is equal to 18 volt so the voltage across this 6 ampere current source is 18 volt okay never ever make the mistake that the, there is no voltage across a current source or that sometimes what happens when we are new to circuit theory and network theory what students do is that they think that whenever there is a current source there is no voltage across it like this or they think that the current flowing into a voltage source is nothing like zero means they think when you are new to circuit theory so always there is this thing that you have to determine when it comes to power calculations this is very important because we are never asked to find out the current flowing through a voltage source or uh, the voltage across a current source in questions but when it comes to power calculations and there are some other things when complicated uh, uh, situations you will be asked to find out these things okay so here never make the mistake there are always a voltage across a current source and current flowing away or towards a voltage source so here the current flowing is 6 ampere okay current flowing is 6 ampere voltage across is 8 so here polarity is like this plus minus current is flowing away from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal so it is supplying power which is plus voltage multiplied with current which is equal to 108 watt okay plus minus so this is power supplied the 6 ampere current source is supplying power then for the 6 ohm resistance for the 6 ohm resistance I1 current is flowing this is the polarity resistors always absorb power I1 we calculated which is equal to 3 ampere so it means it is absorbing power power absorbed is negative which is i square r that is 3 square into 6 which is equal to 9 into 6 which is minus 54 watt then we have the 2 ohm resistor so in this 2 ohm case so this 2 ohm resistor the current is flowing from left to right 3 ampere so it is plus minus this is also absorbing power power absorbed is negative which is minus i square r which is 3 square into 2 which is equal to minus 18 watt again here this voltage source here the voltage source 
is like this plus minus this is 12 volt and current I2 is equal to 3 ampere is flowing like this. So here if you see the current is flowing towards the positive terminal away from the negative terminal. It means that it is absorbing power. This voltage source is absorbing power and power absorbed is negative which is minus product of voltage and current that is 12 into 3 which is equal to minus 36 watt. So here this current source is supplying power plus 108 watt then 6 ohm absorbing power minus 54 watt 2 ohm absorbing power minus 18 watt and this voltage source is absorbing power minus 36 watt the total power absorbed supplied everything for this circuit it is equal to first plus 108 watt then minus 54 watt then minus 18 watt then minus 36 watt so this is 108 watt minus 54 plus 862 72 then 108 watt so it is 0 watt so the total power absorbed summated everything in this circuit it is 0 watt so here uh, the interesting thing is that this current source it is supplying power voltage source is absorbing power and also uh, we uh, so far in the questions which we discussed we discussed only about voltage sources along with resistors or two voltage sources here we have taken current source along with the voltage source or a different approach so this is the fourth question related to intelligence theorem so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much